next part of the assessment is assessment of speech. And go ahead and count to 10 for me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm assessing the volume of the speech, whether it's too soft, as well as the normal rhythm. If there's a steady monotone, that would be abnormal and give a rating of 1 at least. And then the rest of the uh, ratings are as indicated. The next thing is facial expression. I'm looking at blink rate and spontaneous expression of the face as their normal expression when she talks, and that would be assessed as noted. If she kind of looks like a poker face, that would be rated as one. If the lips are parted part of the time, that would be a three. If the lips are parted the entire time and widely spaced, that would be a four. The next part is arising from the chair, and the instructions are put your arms across your chest, stand up, and if she can do it quickly like that, that's normal. If she has to push up with the arms or rock a few times, then it would be downrated as indicated. The next part would be posture. Turn to the side for us, please. And we're looking for increased flexion at the, at the neck, the uh, shoulders forward, the elbows bent, the hips bent, or the knees bent more. And that's typically asymmetric. In fact, somebody may even be leaning to the side and then it's rated appropriately. Next, we'll look at gait. And we'll have you walk up and down the line. We, have to, we usually have somebody walk at least 15 feet. We're looking at the uh, initiation of gait, the uh, steps, go back, the arm swing and the turning. Normally the shoulders lead the hips on turning, and that's what we're seeing is perfectly fine. Stay right there, and then we'll check postural stability from the side. And the instructions are keep your uh, sh uh, sh feet shoulder length apart. And I'm going to jerk you back, step back if you need to. Don't let me knock you over. And then I give a test one like that. Now I'm going to pull you much harder. I have myself set with the wall behind me in case this is a big person and I'll have some support. And then I jerk them back. And if they t take two or less steps, that would be uh, rated as normal. If they take more than two steps but right themselves, that's a one. And if they would fall unless I catch them, that's a two and so on. And the final thing is just body bradykinesian. We're looking at arm swing, spontaneous expression, and normal movement of the body. And that's rated as indicated. Thank you.